I have some ice at about negative 10 degrees Celsius. And now I'm going to put this into some nice warm water. And let's see what happens. Not surprisingly, the temperature of the ice seems to be going up. But will it continue? In fact, it seems to be heading to zero degrees Celsius. We are creating a heating curve for the water. We can see that the ice did in fact increase temperature to zero degrees, but now it's staying at zero degrees, and that's because the water is undergoing the process of melting. And all of the energy is going into breaking the bonds between the water molecules. And now we can see that the water must all be melted because the temperature is going up. Okay, now you can see what we have here is a cold water bath, saturated salt water solution. So you can see it's at negative 10 degrees Celsius, pretty cold. And then I've got here some fresh water just from the tap. It's a little warmer, about 20, a little over 25 degrees Celsius. Go ahead, put it in the cold bath now. And not surprisingly, the fresh water's temperature starts to take a nosedive. Given the differential in temperature, of course, we expect the fresh water to at least get to zero degrees Celsius. The question is, what's going to happen? We know it's the freezing point, so we know the water is going to freeze. So we ought to be able to watch that. Hmm. Funny, took a little dive right around 4 degrees. That might not be coincidental, since that's the densest that water can be. Whoa, what's going on here? supposed to be freezing. Apparently, we've achieved a super cooled state of water. That water would really like to freeze right now. Love to see that entropy go way down. But no, it's retaining its liquid state. It's just getting colder. This merits a little more observation. Let's see what it looks like. At this temperature, the water should be frozen, but it's still a liquid. Super cooled. But I'll bet if I give you a little tap. Whoa, look at that. sudden freezing, and check out the temperature, suddenly goes to zero. Well, that is the freezing point of water, and it is freezing. But where did all that energy come from to bring the temperature up to zero? If you guessed that freezing is an exothermic process, that rapid freezing rapidly produced a lot of energy that brought that temperature up to zero. Now, if I just let that continue to freeze, put back in the cold, of course, we should expect to see eventually complete freezing. So to review what happened, 
The fresh water started off at room temperature, put it in the cold water bath, got colder and colder as we expected. But instead of starting to flatten out at about four degrees, it actually took a dive and just got colder and went beyond the freezing point, became super cooled because I moved it and shocked it. It suddenly, everything started to freeze. With a sudden release of energy that brought the whole thing up to zero degrees, and then, as normal, stayed at zero and stayed at zero until the entire sample was frozen. And you can see here that the temperature was starting to go down. That little tail is just uh, when I pulled the thermometer out. 